Today is opening day, and I just got good news. I don't have to go to work, so got the bow in the car, got all my gear. I'm going to go out there and check it out. Hopefully, I get a Tom. I'll try to film what I can, but I'm not going to really have my hands free. Alex is busy, so I'm going out solo. Uh, either way, we're still going to go tomorrow, so we'll get some footage. Um, but yeah, I'll check in a little bit, let you know how the spot is, and hopefully the next set of footage is going to have me with a turkey in my hand. Just got out here to the uh, spot that we usually go, and as you can see, hopefully you can see, it is flooded. Not turkey hunting here today, but I uh, definitely wanted to see the status of this area. Um, you can call and get updates, but sometimes it's better just to come out and take a look for yourself. But it's a beautiful day out here. I was supposed to work and uh, go afterwards to scout out a couple areas for tomorrow, because I'm gonna go out with Alex Parati tomorrow morning, and we're gonna try and get some uh, toms. About to go sight this guy's Bowen. Happy Saturday. Yeah, we're out here at uh, El Dorado Hills Bowman. And it is beautiful. Yeah, really nice. We're gonna go over to one of the targets over here and practice and try to sight his bow in at all the various ranges. And this one that we're gonna go to goes up to 50 yards, so it'll be a good starting point for you. I'm supposed to be dialed in at those, but I'll practice while I'm here and then we're gonna maybe walk the course. Well, first grouping of the day and went straight through the fletching and I just bought these arrows, so <laughs> could be worse though. I just have to replace that, but either That's way. That's what happens when you group well, right? I guess so. Just sitting here with Parati. We're trying to sight in his bow. I'm shooting a little shaky myself. I went to 60 pounds, I don't know, about a month ago or something. And it's been a big change for me from 55. I was so steady. I was hitting my target like crazy. I didn't realize 50, like five pounds would make that big of a difference, but it definitely has. So I got a lot of practicing to do, but we're doing okay. We're getting there and uh, Parati's getting 30 and 20 down really well. I'm going to take a quick break and we're going to probably do the course here in a few minutes. Nice shot, man. You're getting it dialed. Mine, more of a jugular shot. And then, look back here. I'm trying to kill an extra animal on the way out. Got a gopher. <laughs> That's a good shot. Yeah. I was shaky a little, little bit. low and, and right, but that's probably just a little fatigue. Yeah. 45 yards, I believe I got a dead bear, and it comes with a fish too, you gotta like that. All right, had a beautiful day, the sun was out, got some good practice in at the range. I didn't get to go check out the other spot that we we're gonna try to hunt tomorrow, but a friend called and said it was flooded, so two of the spots that we we're gonna go to are flooded. We're gonna go back to the same spot we've been going to for the last two seasons. We know there's turkeys out there, hopefully we can get them, and uh, I'll be filming tomorrow's uh, hunt as well. So, see you then. Thanks for watching.